is a clear case yeah. of trade. Yes. And in trade, mm -hmm. you're bound to make profits or losses at some point. If you look at, for instance, uh, the immediate past here, and uh, Saki and Wingobit will help us with that, it appears that the GRA is exceeding their revenue target. Okay. So how do you just oppose that finding to a, a well-functioning GRA if you want to assess them by the fund? If you look at it critically, and the work that the World Bank did, they engaged the GRE, and this was data from the GRE, mm -hmm. and they estimate, I think, the potential import tax to be about $2 billion, right. and we were, we're doing less, about 34%. Perfect. So that tells you that they may be hitting over their target, but in terms of our potential, mm -hmm. we are not collecting as much as we should be. And we identified that the very drivers mm -hmm. that leads to these revenue leakages are the ones that makes corruption happen. So in terms of putting cost to it, right. if you look at, you have a revenue potential of about $2 billion and about 34% is uncollected. It tells you that sometimes even these targets that are given to this institution, mm -hmm. they take cognizance of what they can collect. They also take cognizance of the system inefficiencies, tax exemptions within the port, that all of that wouldn't make them um, achieve the potential import um, target. So if you try to use GRS targets at the port as a benchmark of efficiency and profitability, then you wouldn't be able to understand the capacity or the quantum of taxes that you can collect oh. within the